Okay, let's continue and see how we can include files uh, in PHP, how we can include one file into another. I have uh, created two files, index.php and about.php, okay? And this is like a simple website simulation, okay? So we have homepage where we see like a welcome to my cool website. We have like footer area. Uh, we have also on the homepage the current uh, weather, it's a simulation just uh, to show you and we have about page okay so we have two pages and we can look at the browser so it's the url actually changes from index php we go to about php from about we go back to index php okay that's cool so we have the two pages and now if we observe these two pages okay so we have here something similar for example this code this code repeats for both pages, okay? And the footer also, the footer also repeats. So better would be if we would have that written in a single place. Now imagine that I want to add one more menu item for my website, and I have to add in both areas, in about PHP and in index PHP. And that is ugly, okay? That is not really like uh, useful. So we need to change this behavior. So let's create uh, partials uh, partials folder and inside the partials folder I'm going to create uh, a header PHP okay so I have header PHP and I'm going to copy my header code including the doc type HTML and move it into header PHP okay let's just put it like this and now in index PHP I want to use that header PHP Okay, so for this, I'm going to use PHP's one of the following functions. We have require once, we have require, also we have include, and we have include once. Okay, so require, you can just remember, you can remember for now, include and require. And I'm going to explain differences right now. Let's just put there include. And I'm going to put there partials header. Okay, so without that line, this is how my index PHP looks like. Okay, so I have here Georgia at BLC 5 degree, but if I look in the page source, I don't have the doc type HTML and body opening tags and things like that. So that's not really cool. So if I include my partials header PHP, that means that just it's something like taking that code and using it right here okay so include works in this way so if i right now open this in browser i see that home about as well as if i open the source i see the doc type html and body opening tag also okay that's good now i want to use that header in the about php also okay so let me take this code and replace with this one okay uh, what's the difference between include and require the thing is actually uh, the difference is actually that uh, during include if the file was not found if the file errored the other uh, code will be executed and it will be displayed in case of a require if that file wasn't found or the file throw an error the execution will be stopped Okay, so if I go to the index PHP and I change the uh, address of the header PHP, like from partials, let me add one more S. Okay, so header PHP doesn't exist. Let's open the home page and I see here warning include partials uh, fail to open no such file or directory, but the other things are displayed. The weather is displayed, my cool website is displayed, copyright to Codeholic is displayed. Okay, if I change, however, this into a require, then this is the result. Everything else stopped execution. It's fatal error, and fatal errors just stop the execution. It doesn't execute anything. Okay, the rest of the things are not also displayed. Okay, to get back to the include and fix the path. So we have, uh, we, we can actually include the, the same file multiple times. 
and that's absolutely valid in PHP. Okay, so I can repeat this multiple times, two times, and this is how it looks like. So let's have a look in the page source. I have doc type HTML once and doc type HTML twice. Okay, and I also have that navigation twice, which is not really good. Header must always be included once. So I need to have it like this, or I can use require once. And that means that once it is required, the second time the same file won't be required. Okay, so in the page source, I also have it once. So if you don't want to re require the same file twice, probably you need to use uh, include once and require once. So that's the, that's the difference. So I'm going to leave it into include. That's easier, shorter, and I know that I don't need to include this twice. And I also have this include uh, in the about PHP. Let's create second partials and let's call it footer PHP. And I'm going to copy that footer area and put it right here. And I'm going to now use the footer PHP echo not echo but include partials footer PHP. And I'm going to use the same include in the index PHP. And this is my website. It is the exact same website. Uh, I have still the copyright, the code holic. I still have the uh, header, but now I have my footer in single place, my header in single place. So if I need to uh, modify something in the footer or in the header, uh, I can just easily do this, okay? So for example, if I go into the footer and I need to put there the copyright date, for example, the current, uh, current year, okay? I'm gonna use date function and format it with Y so that to take the current year and here is 2020. And that is added in both areas, in, in both pages. Okay, that's awesome. Um, let me do it slightly differently. Okay, so I'm going to take this out and go to the index PHP just to show you that we can do this also. And I'm going to create a variable uh, yar. Okay, and assign to the, the this one date of uh, y. Okay, so now I have the current yar, and the thing is that I can use now this yar variable inside the footer okay just like this using inside uh, php opening and closing text okay and i find variable yar that happens for about us page okay inside about php we have not declared that yar variable however in index page we declared it okay so if we go to the home page we see that 2020 so declaring a variable in the index php are visible inside the footer PHP because that's like taking this code and inserting it right here. Okay, that works like this. Um, okay, so let's move on and see the second example about including and requiring files. Okay, let's close up these ones and open the math PHP. Okay, let's open the index PHP. Let's, let's, let's do like this. Um, or I already have prepared some things and let me just explain what I have done. Uh, and let's open uh, include require functions and here it is. So in math.php I have created two functions uh, to add two variables and to subtract two variables. And in the index.php I'm using these two functions. So I'm just requiring my math once and then I have add and subtract uh, functions right here, and I can use them. Um, so here is the thing. In this case, we should use, we must use require once. Okay, that's the correct thing. Uh, so if the math PHP doesn't exist, we need to show fatal error so that the continuing uh, of this file, of this code doesn't make any sense, because if that fails, the other ones will also fail for sure because the other code is fully depended on this code. In this case, uh, like having here include doesn't make any sense. Okay, we need to have here require. And why we have require once and not require? So the explanation is that uh, if we have require, this, this means that we can require it second times. 
okay and that doesn't make any sense if we include the same file if we require the same file twice we will have function and name uh, conflict so we are declaring the same add function twice so now this code already required the uh, code which is written right here uh, and declared two functions and then this one is still trying to declare it which doesn't make any sense okay so if we replace it with require once and require once right here then we can have it just like this so it's, it's okay because as far as far as it is required it doesn't it won't be required anymore